value of cos 404 is the same as cos 404 minus 360 because cos is periodic about 360. So this becomes cos 45, which the exact trig value is 1 over root 2. Or you could write it as root 2 over 2. Sometimes you prefer to do this because then the denominator is rationalised. So that is the answer. Just a quick bit of um, a proof of this. So we can draw a right angled triangle. And actually, let me make it a bit more to scale such that it's isosceles. It's got 90 here and 45 here. So I could choose to make the side lengths 1 using Pythagoras. The hypotenuse is then root 2. From which you can see cos 45 is the adjacent over the hypotenuse 1 over root 2. Hence, using a double identity for cosine, so let me first of all just write that down. Cos 2a is identical to cos squared a minus sine squared a. Actually, there's an equivalent one. If I replace sine squared by 1 minus cos squared, which is 2 cos squared a minus 1. So now I avoid all sine squares. It's actually worth just knowing this for and 1 minus 2 sine squared a as well, especially if you're integrating cos squared or sine squared and other areas. Okay, now how are we going to use this? We're interested in finding cos of 101.25, but notice if, I, if we double 2 times 101.25, then we get 202.5. And if we double that, then we get 405. So you can see how we're going to be using that now. So what I can do is let A equal 202.5 first. Because then I can get it involved over here. Um, I need. I want to make cos squared a the subject actually, and then I'll be able to find cos of two hundred and two point five. So cos squared a, if I add one, then divide by two, will be a. I'll get a half plus a half cos two a. So cos squared two hundred and two point five will equal a half plus a half cos 405 and this here as we had before is root 2 over 2. So I'm going to factorize out the half it's going to be 1 plus root 2 over 2 put it over a common denominator of, of 2 over 2 factorize that out so actually I'm going to get 2 plus root 2 over 4 for cos squared of 202.5. So actually I want cos of 202.5, so I need to take a square root, but just need to be careful here because I'm going to have plus or minus technically when I take the square root. Let's just take a look at the graph of cos. It looks like this. So I'm going to be around here. It's definitely going to be negative. Cos 202.5 will be negative. And therefore, I'm going to ignore the positive solution. OK, that one's actually been introduced by taking the square root, but it's not actually a a real physical solution. We can cancel it down very slightly, so it's going to be minus root 2 plus root 2, but then I can actually take the square root of 4, so we've got this. Okay, now I want cos of 101.25. I'm going to actually do the same thing again. So what I can do is take this formula and let A this time equal 101.25. So cos squared 101.25 is going to equal a half 
I could have factorised out the half already, but I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it like this. A half plus a half times minus root 2 plus root 2 over 2. All right, I will factorise out the half now. So it would be 1 or 2 over 2 again minus root 2 plus root 2 over 2. So 2 minus root 2 plus root 2 over 4. And then cos 101.25 is going to be plus or minus the square root of all of that. Let's just consider the graph again. So this is 180, this is, um, it's going to again be negative basically, that's what I'm trying to say. We're going to be between 90 and 180, so around here. So again, take negative. And I think I'm nearly there, so I can basically divide, I can change it, so I'm square rooting the top and square rooting the bottom. So when I square at the bottom, okay, let's just write it as, yeah, root 2 minus root 2 plus root 2 over root 4. We'll just check the answers. Okay, we're basically there. A, B, C. I'm just going to bring that down. So it will become minus 1 over 2. We need to write it in this form. So dividing by root 4 is the same as dividing by 2, same as times by a half. And then root 2 minus root 2 plus root 2. And that is our answer. If I'm being extra careful, I might just then say that a is minus a half, b is 2, and c is going to be minus 1. So lovely method for finding the exact value of cos 101.25. Well done.